For this lesson, I want to talk about post-impressionism. Post-impressionism takes place right after the previous lesson, the impressionism. So some of the artists that I just want to briefly talk about, um, Paul Gauguin, George Seurat. So if you know anything about this painting, um, it's entirely made out of little dots. This is called stippling. And a majority of this painting is made out of red, blue, and yellow dots. So he came up with this idea that if you placed a blue dot next to a yellow dot in your head, that changes it to a green kind of color. Um, so that's what's happening here. So the lighter greens, there's more yellow placed around the blue, for example. And this is zoomed in, but still not zoomed in enough for you to see the individual dots. But here's a different example. Now this one does have some green dots throughout and orange. Then you also have Paul Cezanne, who specialized in doing these still lives. This one, for example, sold for sixty and a half million in 1999. But the most famous person from this time period is Vincent Van Gogh. I attached a couple of videos on there if you are interested in anything past this. But Vincent Van Gogh, he's a Dutch-born painter. Um, he moved to France towards the end of his life. In the late 1880s, he committed himself to an asylum and then later committed suicide. But in those 10 years, he created 2,100 um, pieces of artwork and 860 oil paintings. Now, a lot of his stuff, you'll see, because he wasn't a very wealthy person, a lot of his stuff was, you know, things that were free. So a portrait, he did a lot of portraits. You can kind of see how they changed throughout the years. And again, you can kind of see those painterly textures. So it's not, you know, crystal clear. It's not really smooth. Now, what he's doing is he's starting to exaggerate with the colors, especially in the background. Um, he also did portraits of his friends. So this doctor, for example, took care of Vincent after his time at the mental institution. Um, this portrait was made a month and a half before Vincent died. As you can see, in 1990, so 30 years ago, it sold for $82.5 million, and it's now worth $161.4 million. So this is one of the most valuable pieces of art in the world. Here's another portrait. So this was his postman. So this is one of his best friends. Um, he painted him and his family dozens of times. He actually painted his family um, as a gift for them once. So this was painted in the asylum out in the garden. So he did a lot of flower paintings, a lot of landscapes. So as you can see, this painting was inspired by the view outside of his window. And you'll kind of see this come back with his most famous work with Starry Night. So if you notice these prices, you know, these are very expensive artworks. Now this is some of his earlier work, so you'll notice it's a little more toned down. It's not as bright and colorful. And he starts to add that color in. He starts, you know, getting his own style. He starts focusing on these yellows and all of these blues. Now here's Starry Night, probably the one that you don't know. And then this is the more famous one. Now, something that's interesting about this painting is it's actually not completely finished. So if you see it in person, all of these little white areas and all of these little pieces throughout here are just the canvas. So he liked to paint a lot of the surrounding areas. And then this is actually his house. The, this upstairs right here is where he lived. More artwork from the hospital that he stayed at. And then this is the only confirmed painting that Van Gogh sold. Now, there's always been this big rumor that 
you know, he only sold one piece of artwork his whole life, but that's kind of been debunked um, kind of recently. This painting, though, the Red Vineyard at Arles, um, it sold for 400 francs in 1890, so that's around $2,000 in today's money. Um, and there's in his journals, he kept a lot of journals, and he wrote a lot of letters to his brother, who was one of his art dealers. Um, it mentions that he sold other pieces, so that's why people think you know the whole one artwork thing is kind of false. Um, throughout the years, he's only gained more and more popularity. So I, I put a link on here to this Loving Vincent trailer, but this is a really interesting movie. This is the first fully painted movie ever made. Actually got nominated for an Academy Award. And then this is a newer film um, where Willem Dafoe actually got nominated for an Oscar too, where he went through kind of the final years of his life. And that's it.